A local student knew he needed help when he challenged the policies at his school, policies he felt were unfair, so he decided to get Marty. And if we go further down the hallway. 17-year-old Liam Lindsay, the young man's journey much longer than the hallways at Norwin High School. This is the pass I have to use to go to the bathroom every day. Liam is transgender. He wants to use the boys' bathroom. His explanation? A simple one. There's a girl's room right here. As I'm not a girl, I can't use that. I can't use this either. If I were to use this, I would be suspended. He has one choice. If I want to go, I have to walk all the way down to the nurse's office. His quandary led him to us, an email from a close family friend, Marty. My son goes to Norwin High School. His friend, who is transitioning from female to male, is forced to use the nurse's bathroom. Is there any way to draw attention to the misfortune of these students? I have the beginnings of a mustache, like a typical teenage boy. Liam was once Leah, legally changed his name a month ago. Started taking male hormones about five months ago. Let the school district know he wants to use the men's room. They said no. I was given a pass on the first day of school to use the nurse's office. If I were to even step foot in the men's bathroom, I would be suspended. But someday, it's going to get a little bit better. Enter Gary Van Horn with the Delta Foundation, the largest LGBTQ organization in the region. He's ready to go to war over this. I'll go to bat for this person no matter what. If that means lawyers, protests, petitions, whatever it takes to give Liam access. This kid should not be treated any, any differently than anybody else. This is absolutely wrong. At the ACLU, Vic Walczak says the law is on Liam's side. This is a big deal. Uh, everybody should be treated fairly um, and in accordance with their gender identity. The ACLU has sued and won several similar cases and is willing to sue again in Norway. We would certainly jump in, uh, including going to court if necessary. Liam has a lot of support from his friends and his family. However, he says his fight is not about him. This happens all the time with trans people. We're just not given the same luxuries or liberties as the rest of our, the rest of people in America. And that's, I want to change that. That's not right. It, everybody deserves to be treated like a human instead of like some stranger that isn't like everybody else. So in a statement from the Norwin school superintendent who had, by the way, been very helpful, Dr. William, Kerr says the Norwin District has been actively engaged in the process of developing a board policy regarding transgender students. His statements also indicate the direction from various federal agencies and court rulings has kept this area of the law in constant flux. He says as a result, the district has to continually review and revise its draft policy. That policy will be considered at the next school board meeting. Their primary concern, they say, is really the safety of all students involved. Do you have an indication of how other students at Norwin are handling this? How they're reacting? Well, uh, Liam says wonderfully. He isn't harassed. He isn't bullied. Uh, no name calling. That they've been incredibly supportive of his issue. He says is with the adults in the room. Yeah. All right. All right, Marty. Thanks so much. And if you have a problem and you want to get Marty, you can send an email to get Marty at kdka.com or call 412-575-2244 and visit kdka.com slash getmarty to see how he's making a difference one story at a time.